it is a lovely Monday and I just got home from work um, I had class this morning at 8 and then right after class um, no I had class at 9 and then my class is at 10 so right after that I went into work and I worked for a few hours just from 10 to 10 30 to 2 30 uh, but like ugh, my back and my feet are killing me like I'm just so not used to working anymore I got, it was only a four hour shift, but like, I feel like I worked a full eight hours. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah. Poor Jihoon. Um, lately, I guess there's something wrong with, they had a bad batch of products that they've been making at the LG plant or whatever. And so like, they've been, Jihoon's been having to stay at work until like 1 a.m. Like because they're trying to, like, I guess maybe make reports or something about what's wrong, or I don't know what they're doing. But I feel so bad for the poor boy. He, like, texted me around 11 a.m. my time. and said he was just going home, which would be 1 a.m. his time. So, yeah. But I didn't really get to, I didn't get to talk to him when I was at work, and so I didn't see the message until, like, an hour later, so he was probably already sleeping. Because I replied to him. He didn't reply back, so he's probably asleep. But... I feel so bad for him, my poor baby. Yeah, I had a bad day the other day in my last video. Um, uh, after I left work, I I really missed Jihoon and I was crying. And after I stopped filming, I cried a whole lot more actually. But luckily, my friend Darwin, he had um, I had called my friend Darwin, and um, he was at Steak and Shake, which was right next to the mall. And so I went over there and I had a milkshake to cheer me up. So, yeah, I felt a little bit better after having that milkshake. So thanks, Darwin, for cheering me up that night, even though you don't watch my videos. But thanks anyway. So I'm on my way home from school and I just passed this accident. And it was like a motorcycle was involved. And every time I see like a motorcycle accident, like against it, like, a car or whatever I, I get so like my stomach just like cringes so quickly like I guess because my dad rides motorcycles so it always like kind of freaks me out like you know that could be my dad one day like so yeah I really hope that person's okay and the person who was in the car as well uh, but be careful when you're driving watch out for those motorcyclists even though half time I know they drive like freaking a-holes but still be really careful I'm always extra cautious when I see motorcycle people driving because like they freak me out and they always want to weave in through like in and out of traffic like they're BAs but yeah it makes me a little crazy but um yeah and it's funny, I'm like preaching about car safety as I'm like trying to vlog and drive at the same time. I'm such a hypocrite, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat lunch now. Ooh, it's been a good one, a storm. I love thunderstorms. Am I weird? I don't know. I really like thunderstorms, except for at nighttime. It's creepy. I like thunderstorms during the day. At night, it's kind of scary because you don't know if like a tornado is just gonna appear while you're sleeping. But in the daytime, they're cool because you you're awake and you know if a tornado's coming. I live in Tennessee, so tornadoes are um, something we have uh, a lot of. What's the word? We have a lot of tornado warnings here and watches. Um, not necessarily a lot of touchdowns, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'm excited. Ooh. I don't think I don't think the whole time I don't, the entire time I was in Korea, I don't think it ever stormed. Like it rained hard, but there was never I've only seen one legit like thunder and lightning storm when I was in Korea and it was really like really brief, like it wasn't very long. That's the only time I ever saw it actually storm in Korea. I don't know if they don't have thunderstorms there or what, but when I was there, like I saw one storm and it wasn't even that bad. It was just like a little, couple crackles here, a couple crackles, that crackers, a couple crackles here and a couple crackles there. And that was about it. 
Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh. <laughs> the amount of happiness I'm feeling right now. The rain's starting to fall. It's starting to get that weird rain smell <laughs> outside. The thunder is getting louder. I'm so excited. Ah, who's been ever, I've never been excited for a thunderstorm before, but I am right now. Oh, how I've missed these. Yay! Ooh, it's getting harder. Hey! You know, how the storm make you feel, girl? Is you scared? Is you chilling? Is you not interested? Is you be ignoring me? How does storm make you feel, girl? I'm trying to conduct an interview. You know, how does storm make you feel? How you feel, girl? How you feel? <laughs> you scared? Is that why you all underneath my feet? No, no. You ain't scared. How you feel, girl? How you feel? Okay, so we're, I'm in ecology class right now and we're doing leaf samples. So we're out in the trees being all adventurous and whatnot, collecting organisms. What is it? I don't see it. That's my girl Veronica. Hey girl, hey. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> See, um, there was another really common one that wasn't part of the paper, but uh, the other one, remember Argiope, that one that had the, sort of the white zipper? Uh, that one's pretty common in, in more open areas around here, so uh, keep an eye out. I think it's awesome that someone recognized this out there just from our discussion. So I was chilled in the library, you know, doing my thing, getting my study on. And I looked out the window and I saw it was looking mighty dark outside. And I was like, oh, why it looks so dark? I was like, let me check this time. I haven't been here this long, have I? Like, I wish I wasn't crazy. Like, I thought maybe, like, I don't know, suddenly, magically, it was like 6 or 7 o'clock in the afternoon. But no, it started raining. Um, and like, I was like, I was like, well, you know, I saw the time. I was like, okay, it's only 2.45. So that must be about to be some rain outside. So I was like, let me get up out of this library before it starts raining. Yeah, it, it started, it was like, it was misting a little bit when I left the library. And then right before I got to my car, it started like for real raining. And I was like, ooh, I'm glad I left when I did because I would have been too soaked. And this dude was just walking on the middle of the street. What the hell? <laughs> just see that? Uh, get your life, sir. Anyway, I'm gonna put this camera down before I die. Mm, and I got this uh, strawberry, well no, not strawberry, it was banana, cream, milkshake, so yummy. Thank you, Sonic. I'm extremely displeased right now. I just came here to go to my soccer sister game. My soccer, <laughs> my soccer sister game. My sister's soccer game, and I swear, like I got here at 5.45, it is now 6.06. At, not even 5.45, it was like 5.48 from 5.49. And it was, it was nice and sunny and hot. I was sweating. And I went inside. I paid my little $5 to get in. I went inside, sat down on the little bleachers. The game started. They probably played for two minutes before the storm started rolling in. And now it's just pouring down rain. Yesterday I was saying I love thunderstorms, but right now I'm very displeased with this thunderstorm because first of all, I just paid $5 to get into this game. And I don't know if it's going to continue. If this game gets canceled, I'll be very hurt um, because that's my five dollars. Shoot, times is hard. Five dollars, five dollars. Shoot. It's like a little ghetto moment. And if they decide to have the game, then it's and like I think I think if they still have the game if it rains, but if there's lightning, they cancel. They they stop the game. So if they still decide to have the game. I guess if it stops thundering and lightning and it's still raining, I'm gonna be extra upset because it's gonna be raining and I still lost my five dollars. Now I don't want to sit out in nobody's rain. I'm uh -huh, boo boo. Now with this uh, 100% uh, $800 Bohemian Rhapsody weave, okay. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm having a ghetto moment. Oh my god. Well, I did buy some stuff today though in the mall. I'll show you. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this again because I guess I forgot to hit the record button. So stupid. All right, as y'all know, I work at Rue 21. If you didn't know, now you do. I work at Rue 21, which is a clothing store. For those of you who don't know what that is. Um, so I bought, so we had to use, we had Associate Appreciation Days, which is basically when we get half off of um, everything for uh, the weekend. So I bought these little black boots that have got little studs on them. Um, originally $29.99, so half off. I got them for like, I don't know, like $15, all right? Yeah, half 30s, 15. Yeah, those are really cute. I really need new black boots because all of mine are like destroyed. And ooh, it's like the rain's finally letting up. Yay. Um, and I bought this, I bought some um, kind of professional-ish stuff stuff that I can wear uh, to the schools because I have to do observations this semester and I have to dress like professional. So um, I just got this royal blue um, button up shirt. It's not buttoned, sorry. It's all inside out and everything too because I was uh, trying it on. But it's a good button up shirt and it's got this little um, tie in the front. Nothing too special. Uh, I got this, I thought this was really cute. It's a pink and a white and black zigzag print shirt. Everyone everyone around me is probably like, what is this girl doing? She just already did this. Like, what is she holding this stuff? Anyway, uh, yeah, I got this little shirt. It's got this little black belt that cinches it in. It's really cute on. Um, and then the last shirt I got was this pale pink shirt that's um, it's like another sheer shirt. And it's uh, just plain in the front. But the cute part, it's got this little bow in the back. So I thought that was a really cute little black bow. And yeah, that's really cute when it's tucked in. Well, the rain stopped and it's like all super clear and pretty. Well, back there it looks kind of like booty still, but I think it's past. I think we're good. That was just like a random little like 15 minute little storm that just happened. But I think we're gonna be okay for the day. But it kind of sucks though because now the seat, the stands are gonna be wet and now my booty gonna get wet, uh-uh. Girl, I'm about to take one of these bags with me and sit on it. <laughs> Is that ghetto? Oh well, I guess I'm ghetto. Here's Alex. We missed him last week. I didn't get him at all. He's being all right today. He wasn't being creepy. He came to the door normally and yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I really need to clean my. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I destroyed it. I'm a mess. Hot ratchet mess. I have to go to work soon, though, unfortunately. <laughs> the dog's crazy.